Hello. <laughs> I am on lunch break. I have no idea how much time I have left. But there's not going to be a daily vlog today of like the whole day. So I thought I'd just come on here real quick and see. I have till 1210. I got plenty of time. Oh, I'm going to get some stuff done around this room. It has been a good day so far. It has been a good day so far. Now my afternoons are the younger classes. Last week I was blown away with how great the younger classes were last week. So I am hoping that they continue on that. We shall see. <sighs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I love my job. I just, I feel so blessed and I feel so lucky. Like I have to pinch myself that I am actually like doing this. <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh, we are working on color, and we're just introducing it today, so we haven't really gotten to color. We just kind of drew our bases for our pieces with pencil. We used uh, rulers or different things that we had to trace, so it's kind of a, a basic day. I'm showing a slideshow of an artist that we are studying. Her name is Heather Rooney. She is a contemporary artist, which means she's alive today. She's amazing. She uses color pencils and her images look like photographs and they're blowing away my kids and it's really fun because she does a lot of famous people and so the kids are like shouting out who they are and so that's been a lot of fun to like uh, kind of get an inside of their what they're interested in, who they recognize. Uh, I don't know. I, I hope I'm winning points <laughs> with some of them. So far, I think I am. Uh, I need to decorate my door. I have a couple of Halloween things to decorate my door um, for Halloween. I decided I'm going to do a, a decoration for each holiday or each month or whatever. Uh, floats my boat that time, but right now, I just happened to have some Halloween decorations so I wanted to do something for that um, it's really about it today there's not a whole lot other than working that's happening today um, it's a lot but again I can't really record I don't want to record um, the actual classes if I could figure out a way to just record myself I would um, but I also like don't want it to be obvious to the other kids that I'm recording myself. <laughs> um, but there are there's been a lot of fun little things that have just developed over time. Like last week I taught was it last week or two weeks ago I taught them how to do the um, boot scoot and boot bo boogie. I kept saying booty because when we paint we're dragging the paint brushes down and I told them not to do that. That's dragging them on their booty and we don't do that. So I taught them how to do the boot scoot boogie to help them remember not to boot scoot their paintbrush. Um, and then what did I do last week? What was funny? I don't remember. Sometimes things just kind of go on a blur. But anyway, <laughs> I'm having a good time. I really love my job. Oh, well, I hung up their artist piece, pieces on the wall, and then I'm having them, on each frame there's a letter of the pieces, and I'm having each student vote for which piece they think represents the element of line, since that's what we studied last time, the most or the best. And then they're voting it on a piece of paper and then I have a little file cabinet right here and all those tabs have the letters so they have to put it in. And so I'm gonna go through and I think that's just gonna be another way for me to assess that their, um, their understanding of line, their uh, explanation of what a line is or just how to critique art. Excuse me. So, so far that's going well. I'm gonna see how it works for the younger kids. I know my third graders could do it. I'm thinking second and younger might just put their slips as a vote for that grade. So it, it, that'll help with like letter recognition too. Just another 
little tool for them to do. So they'll just vote. I don't think I'll have them write out why because a lot of the younger grades, you know, writing stuff like that is a little bit more too complicated and I don't want this to be a complicated process, especially for the younger kids. So we are working on drawing things, getting things ready for art. This is my new schedule too. I guess I could talk about that. Um, we have been switching our schedule around a little bit and so now I'm working uh, still two days a week, but it's kind of every other day, two days a week. So I get a break in between, which as before it was two days in a row. And that was really, really hard, especially last week with my girls. Um, I think just because of things that like me being in the hospital with Julia for a long period of time, it's just been very emotionally hard on my girls when I'm gone. And so when I was gone for two days in a row, that was really, really hard on them. So I think this is gonna work out better that it's every other day. And um, I think it's gonna work out a lot better. So yeah, I feel like that's about it really. <laughs> There's just not a whole lot to update. So yeah, I feel like I'm just rambling just to fill in time, but there's just not much else to say. Yep, I'm just gonna let y'all go because I don't have anything else to say. If you guys have any questions, I would love to do like a Q and A of like either homeschooling or being an art teacher. Um, I don't know, my life in general. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And maybe I'll do like a cool Q and A thing eventually soon. No idea what that is. Mark on my neck. Anyway, okay, that's it. I'm gonna leave. This is boring. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.